In this video, I'll show you how to use AI to enhance your videos. I'll be using a tool called ART Video Enhancer because after all the tests that I have done, that one is my favorite overall tool. And by the way, if you want to try it for free, make sure to check the link in the description. But nonetheless, in this video, I'll show you my results and how to use it and what is my overall opinion on this technology. So let's get started. Okay, so let me show you some before after footage after I have used the AI video enhancer by ARD. So this clip right over here is me throwing a disc golf disc. And this is the original clip as you can see. Now this one is the model Modetail HQ V2 model. I will actually replay it to you again. So here you can already see a subtle difference. So for instance, if you compare this frame to the original clips, this frame you can clearly see that this one is a lot sharper however i think that the details come a bit more clear once you actually zoom in it a bit closer so let's just continue playing this clip so now this one is the super video vhq model this gives very similar results and here is the smooth hq v2 model also these give pretty similar results so once again, I will play it through once more as a continuous loop. So here's the original clip. Here's the Mo Detail clip. Here's the Super Video VHQ clip. And here's the Smooch HQ V2 clip. So you can see the difference is there. Now here's a zoomed in version of the original clip. Here's the same with the Mo Detail model. Here's the same with the Super Video VHQ model. And here's the smooth, smooth HQ V2 model. And here's an even more zoomed in version with the original one. And here is the Mo Detail Enhanced clip. And here's the Super Video clip. And then we have the smooth HQ V2 clip. So once again, here you can clearly see when we zoom it in very close, this looks absolutely terrible, this original clip. But here, it is clearly improved. Of course, I'm not saying that this is perfect either. It is very blurry and very messy still, but I would say that it went from like, let's say five out of 10 to something like six and a half out of 10. So that's kind of like the, like the level up or the upscaling factor in my experience or in my opinion. So you can't rescue a video that is like, 5 out of 10 and expect to turn it into like 9 out of 10 with this tool. But if you have a clip like this that is for instance like 8 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10, you might be able to turn that into 9 out of 10 or 9.5 out of 10. And just for comparison, let me actually show you another clip where there is a fireworks display going on here. So this is entirely different than the one that I just showed you and this one shows you how the AI can actually remove the noise and like blurriness, graininess from these nighttime clips. So let's play the original one. Then here is the Mo Detail HQ V model in ART. Then here is the Smooth HQ V2 model. And here is the Super Video V HQ model. And as you can see, if we start to replay it again, here you see the graininess and the noise in the sky everywhere, but here it's basically almost gone. And then in this one, the same thing. So there's not much graininess or blurriness and the same one here as well. And once again, because this is not doing any magic, this is actual technology. If there is missing details in your video, the AI can't fully restore it, but it can predict what the scene would look like if the noise or whatever obstacles, blurriness, whatever there is, was not there. So in this one, it is able to predict that the sky is way smoother than it is, for instance, here in the original clip. So that's the kind of quality improvement you can do with a tool like this. So it will definitely make a significant difference. But once again, it can't recover a bad clip. So if your video like this, for instance, was like four out of 10, you can't go broader or better than like five out of 10 in content quality or video quality rather. And now let me quickly show you how you can use this tool to improve your videos. So all you literally need to do is head over to the ART page. You can find a link to that in the description. If you want to access the free trial, click there. 
Um, all you need to do is literally download the tool, activate your trial, and you will see a view like this. And now what you can do here is you can drag and drop videos into the view. So for example, here is a clip of me throwing a disc golf disc. And right as you drag and drop the footage here, you're going to see this kind of a before after preview. And this is important. So now that I just dragged and dropped the clip here, it hasn't done anything yet. But what it's instead prompting me to do is doing this kind of preview with these settings on the right hand side. So turning a 10 second clip into an enhanced clip actually takes a lot of time. So before you do that, you want to see what you can expect from, for instance, this model. So now I can go here and I can choose, for instance, the Super Video HQ model. I can do the upscaling factor of two times right over here. And then it will take a second for the AI to load the model and to basically render a preview version of this one screenshot or this screen capture right over here. Let's see. There it actually is. So now you can drag and drop this slider over here to view the original frame of the clip. And then you're going to see like the upscaled or the enhanced version of the clip over here. So this is the quality that you will see in your video if you use this setup to enhance it. And at least if you ask me, this looks pretty promising. But once again, as I told you, this one's actually going to take a while. So what you might want to do is if you have a longer clip, you might want to use these sliders over here to select a shorter region or a smaller region in your video. For instance, in this clip, I just want to capture the throw. So I will go here where I start to throw it and I will go here where the disc vanishes into the air. And um, now if I want to use this technology to enhance the video in this time range, that is from five seconds to nine seconds, I can just click add task. And now it will add it as a task over here to enhance the video. And now I just need to click export. And now it will start to process the video. And when I did this for the first time, I was a bit confused because it is still showing me the preview thing here, but it's not doing really anything. But then I realized that here in the task list at the very bottom of the screen, we have this status and it says processing super resolution. And here you can actually see the percentage on the right hand side. So this could definitely be bigger here because I actually had to spend a minute or two discovering it or trying to find it desperately. But there it is. And now all I literally need to do is just wait for the AI to process the video. So as you can see, I have been talking here for like 20 seconds and it hasn't even done 1% yet. So it can easily take 10 to 20 minutes with this short of a clip as well. But now the cool part here is that you don't really need to wait if you want to try out these other models. So now that I am actually processing this one with this super video model in the or at the 2x upscaling factor, I can do another task that is I can render another version of this video and I can put it into the queue. So I can choose another model. Let's do, for instance, MoDetail HQ, and we can do 4x upscaling. So this is going to improve the image quality in the video even more. So it's going to make it a lot bigger while retaining the quality. And once again, we can wait for the preview over here. While it's doing all the rendering stuff, it doesn't matter. It is not going to get confused by that. And here is the preview. And by the way, as you can see, it's way too much right now. So this looks almost like a drawing. So I'm not going to use this model with this video. Well, actually, now that I zoom out, it doesn't look that bad. But obviously, you want to try the preview to make sure that the preview looks something that you want to see in the video. But nonetheless, that is besides the point, because now I just want to show you how you can do this multiple uh, multiple renderings at the same time. So now I can click on add task if I wanted to render a video like this and then I can click export current again and now it's waiting for this video to process and then it will start processing this one. And obviously the speed depends entirely on your setup. And last but not least, let's talk about the pricing. So the standard license is 79 bucks for one year. And then if you want to purchase the lifetime license, you're going to get it for $165. And as it says here, it is for life. And um, I think this makes it my favorite AI video enhancer because it's not like crazy expensive. I've seen tools like 
worth like $2,000, something like that. Um, but it still gives you the results that are just as good as the most expensive tools on the market. So this one's definitely something you want to try. And if you want to access the launch special, that is, you can claim a free license code of IRT AI Video Enhancer, make sure to check the link in the description of the video. You can use the tool for free without watermarks for a limited period of time.